Should get over to that now. The city of Waco is launching a new scooter program in downtown Waco, allowing riders to share the streets in cities from two wheels. Well, businesses downtown say they see pros and cons to the program that can only be managed by oversight and rider responsibility. Six News reporter Mike Rogers has the story. Corners throughout downtown Waco illuminated with lime green scooters, one of Wacoans favorite forms of transportation around the city, now 250 strong thanks to the super pedestrian scooter company. But some business owners question how oversight of the program will be handled. I don't know whose responsibility that is, whether it be the city, the company, or both. When you call the city, they say call the company. When you call the company, you can't get a hold of them. Greg May is an owner at Z's at the Curry. He says on top of accidents on the scooters involving both children and adults, the scooters are constantly left unattended on sidewalks and parking lots, including his own. They get left. And I guess as, as a business owner also, one of the biggest problems I had is they would leave these scooters in the back alley here behind us on the sidewalks and they wouldn't move for days. According to Super Pedestrian, riders of e-scooters must be 18 years old and cannot ride while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. But May says unless there's oversight to enforce those rules, issues could persist. Uh, it's going to have to be a company that really takes a daily charge of it, um, you know, staging them back up. And I think they need a better handle on the no ride zones. And there needs to be more of those. Super Pedestrian charges $1 to activate the scooters and 39 cents per minute of use. On top of where they can be parked, May says users need to be vigilant for the program's success, their own safety, and the safety of others. There can be some trouble. There can be some accidents. There, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's something that uh, I, I just think it's an accident waiting to happen. In Waco, Mike Rogers, 6 News. The 6 News reached out to Super Pedestrian and the city for more clarification on rules and regulations involving the scooters, but we haven't heard back yet.